Hey guys, come on downstairs. We are doing a little uh, UC Santa Barbara Gauchos baseball here today. It's MVP 06 NCAA baseball. Now we started this a while ago. We're just re-picking it up. Uh, Pacific won the first game of this four-game series, 8-1. to one. The second game, we ended up winning 6-5, to five, and we're going to play the third game of this series. We're already well into the Big West Conference season. Pacific is 14 and 23 overall. We're 14 and 21. And we have Casanova going today here in Santa Barbara, California, as we face the Pacific Tigers. Pacific dead last in the Big West Conference. We are third to last, I believe. Patrick Casanova, 2 and 5 with a 3.27 ERA, making his 12th appearance of the year. So, to finish off this first season of Santa Barbara Gauchos Baseball, we're going to do a couple of episodes to re-familiarize everybody with some of our players. And then we will jump into season number two. So, Adam Mullenhauer, the catcher, will lead things off here for the UOP Tigers. He takes ball one from Casanova. Swings at the two-seamer. Mullenhauer will be followed by... Jesse Briggs, the second baseman, and Mullenhauer draws the walk from Patrick Casanova. A quick look at the Tigers' batting order. Mullenhauer, Briggs, followed by Revelette, Fraser, Cunan, Clem, Villarreal, Large, and Burgess. Sorry you didn't get a very long look at that. As we go through here, this is Jesse Briggs, the second baseman for the Tigers. He's going to send this one down the right field line. Sorgi's going to cut it off before it gets to the warning track. And the Tigers have runners on first and second. Let's look at the Gauchos defense. Carson, Regan, Helton, Haynes around the infield. Geyer, Jim Zerby in center, and Sorgi in right. This one goes to Geyer in left. He will get it back into the infield. The bases are loaded, though, for Travis Frazier. With still nobody out here in the first inning, Zerby in center makes the play. Runner tagging from third will score easily. Throw comes into Regan. And that will hold the runner at second. So Pacific draws first blood here in the first inning. It's one to nothing, Tigers. Lauren Cunan, the right fielder, with just one out from Patrick Casanova. Casanova is our third starter in our three-man rotation. And another base hit, Sorgi, in right, cuts it off. And we've got bases loaded once again, this time for Jose Clem, the center fielder for the Tigers. Pitching has not been a real weakness for us so far this year. It's mostly been offense, managing to score runs, but the pitching here from Casanova in trouble early. Bases loaded with one out and a 2-2 count. Splitter down. Off the plate. We've got the bases loaded. Nowhere to put him. Fly ball to right field. Sorgi underneath it. Another runner tagging. And the throw will be cut off by Jeremy Helton. So it's two to nothing now. Pacific with the lead. Dominic Villarreal, the shortstop. And Casanova trying to get out of this with just giving up two runs for the Gauchos. A long top of the first inning for Patrick Casanova. Breaking ball off the plate. 2 1 count. To Villarreal, drive to left field. Adam Geyer is there. And Geyer squeezes it for the third out. We go to the bottom of the first inning. Leading off the game for us is, I believe, Jeremy Helton. I believe he's the hit leadoff hitter. I'm sorry we didn't get the uh, batting order for us. We'll get it down, though. 1 2 delivery to, I believe that's Jeremy Helton. As we look at the Tigers' defense briefly. By the time this game's over, you should know who is where. So one out. This one fouled back. And then a foul ball down. That looked like it was inside the bag to me. But another strikeout, and we get to Adam Geyer, the left fielder. With two outs in the bottom of the first, the pitcher for the Tigers is uh, Soroka. 
0-2 delivery with two outs here in the bottom of the first. And Geyer strikes out. At the end of the first inning, it's 2-0 Pacific. We are going to jump ahead to inning number three now. Third inning still, 2-0. Chris Revelette, the first baseman who's one for one today, will lead things off for Pacific. 1-0 delivery from Casanova, fouled back by Revelette. Splitter chased. 1-2 delivery. And Revelette chases the curveball off the plate for out number one. Travis Frazier will dig in now for UOP, the lefty. Grounds it to the right side. Corey Haynes has it. Steps on the bag for out number two. And Lauren Cunan comes to the plate, batting 270 on the air. Here's the delivery to him. Two-seamer off the plate. 1-0 count. Splitter swung on and missed. 1-1 delivery from Casanova off the plate. 2-1. Swung on and missed. 2-2 two -two count. Here's the delivery. Driven to right field. Sorgi going back. It's at the track. Looking up. That one is out of here. Lauren Cunan. A solo home run for UOP. It's 3-0 Tigers. And now we have Jose Clem, the center fielder. Gaucho's leaving Casanova in. It's three to nothing. Carson on to Haynes just in time for the out. And we go to the middle of the third. It's three to nothing Pacific. Tyler Drever to lead things off in the bottom of the third. Catcher for the Gauchos. This series, a four game series. All Big West series are four game series. And this one right now is tied at one. Out at first, Gene Sorgi, the right fielder, filling in for injured Daniel Farinacci. Farinacci was one of our best hitters, but he went out early in the season, and we have really missed him here in year number one. He is a senior as well, so he will not be back next year for us. 0-2 delivery to Sorgi. Ground ball up the middle. It's cut off at short by Dominic Villarreal. On to first to Chris Revelette for the out. Here is Jim Zerby now. Center fielder, Zerby, shows bunt, pulls it back, 1-0. Pitch from Soroka, the slider, catches the outside corner. And the circle change is up high. Check swing by... Uh, man, I can't even remember who was batting. Now, Zerby, ground ball, left side. This is Chris Large on to first for the out. And that will bring the third inning to a close. Still no nobody on base for the UC Santa Barbara Gauchos. We skip ahead to the sixth inning now. Still three to nothing UOP. 1-1 one, one delivery. Casanova still pitching, settled down a little bit. Haynes steps on the bag and Lauren Cunan will come to the plate. Two for two on the day with a single and a home run. This time he lives at the left field, Adam Geyer. Drifting over from left, makes the catch. And it's out number two, Jose Clem will come to the plate now. Center fielder with two outs here in the top of the sixth. Clem fouls this one to the right side. Corey Haynes over near the dugout, waiting, makes the catch, and retires the side. Middle of the sixth, it's three to nothing UOP. Gene Sorgi will lead things off in the bottom of the sixth. Sorgi looks at a pitch off the plate. 2 0 count. We got a lot of young players on this team. We don't lose a ton. We mentioned Daniel Farinacci as one. Jim Zerby. Up next with a runner on first. He shows bunt again. Pulls it back. 1-1 one, one count. I believe it's Sorgi on first. 1-2 delivery. Nobody out yet. Ground ball to the left side. On to second and he is tagged out. The second baseman wasn't covering the bag yet. But he dives and makes the tag to get at least one. And that'll bring up Jeremy Helton, the leadoff hitter. Helton, check swing. It's a strike anyway. UCSB looking to get on the board here in the sixth. Circle change catches the black. And here, this is a double play ball. On to second, but Helton's got speed. He's going to beat it out. And that'll give Rafael Carson a chance. With a runner on, Carson a base hit through the right side and into right. Helton will just move up a base. And Adam Geyer will get us some hacks. 
with two outs and runners on first and second. That one way late. Soroka still on the mound. This one is driven through the hole on the left side on the ground. We got the bases loaded now. Little station to station baseball for the Gauchos. After playing MLB the show for so long, it's hard to get used to the uh, timing of these pitches as well as reading them. This one fouled back. 0-2 oh, count with bases loaded. And the slider, man, that was close. Taken for ball one, though. 1-2 one, delivery. And the fastball is swung on and missed. So Santa Barbara blows a big opportunity. We move to the seventh. Dominic Villarreal. UOP still up 3 to nothing. We are going to bring in Fountain. He is a sophomore pitcher. A reliever. And he is coming in to take the place of Patrick Casanova. Top of the seventh inning, he falls behind 2-0. And this one lifted into right. Sorgi is going to play it on the hop. And it's a base hit to start off the inning. Here's Chris Large now, one for two. 232 batter, UOP third baseman. Swings and misses at the splitter. 0-1 delivery, driven deep to right field. That one's gone if it's fair. And it is gone. This one was a bomb out onto the street. And Chris Large with a two-run home run increases the Pacific lead to five to nothing. Stepping in, the designated hitter. Here in the top of the seventh, Santa Barbara, California. A little Big West Conference baseball. Sorgi will chase this one down and right, make the catch. That'll bring up Adam Mullenhauer. So we are like seventh, sixth or seventh in the Big West Conference right now in the standings, and we will not be uh, seeing any postseason. There is no Big West Conference tournament. Some other conferences have a tournament at the end of the year. The Big West does not. So the standings determine who gets into the uh, regionals. So hopefully we can put together a good recruiting class and make a run at the postseason next year. We'll have uh, one more episode after this, and we'll call it a season for year number one and get a start on year number two. Hopefully get through year number two by the end of June, maybe the end of July. We'll see how things go. Try to get at least a couple episodes out every week through the uh, college baseball season and beyond. Ground ball right up the middle. On to first for the out. Corey Haynes now, the first baseman. He's an underclassman. He'll be back next year. He is a backup first baseman. Uh, Warren Dessa is our normal first baseman. Getting the day off in this one. One and two, one out. Bottom of the seventh inning. Five to nothing. Pacific. Corey Haynes. Check swing. Fastball's a strike anyway. And Tyler Drever will bat with two outs. Drever looks at the fastball high. 1-0 delivery. Soraka still on the mound for Pacific. Looking to work into the eighth inning possibly. Or beyond. He's got a shutout going. 3-1 count. Delivery to Drever. And he puts him on base. So he might be starting to lose his control a little bit here in the late innings. Here's Gene Sorgi. Sorgi swings and misses. Drever on first. Sorgi takes a look at that one. 1-1 one, one count with two outs. Sorgi drives this one to right field. That one's headed back. Lauren Cunan looking up. Oh my goodness, it's a, inches away from a home run. Sorgi round and third, heading to the plate. Or Drever, excuse me. Heading to the plate and he will score on a two-out RBI double by Gene Sorgi. And here is Jim Zerby center fielder and we've got a bobbled ball at third by Chris Large and that'll give Santa Barbara another chance here Jeremy Helton runners on the corners with two outs base hit should score another run it's five to one now Pacific with the lead and Helton strikes out change up off the plate at the end of seven it's five to one we move ahead to the ninth inning still five to one Pacific Sorgi in right field, trying to chase this one down. Takes a bad angle, recovers. And the ball hangs up long enough for him to get underneath it. One out in the top of the ninth. 
Fountain is still on the hill for us. And a base hit into left field. Chris Large now with Vila Real on first after that base hit. Large grounds it to Carson. Carson on to second to Helton, and he's not going to be able to turn two. That'll bring up the DH, Jeff Burgess. Circle change. Catches the outside corner. Ground ball, left side. Carson has it. On to first, and that will retire the side. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Tuomi, Haynes, and Drever do up for the Gauchos. Patrick Tuomi, the DH. Looks at strike number one. Four seamer swung on and missed, and now a one hopper to the right side. Jamie Jesse Briggs on to first. And we have the first out of the ninth inning, Corey Haynes now. The lefty, first baseman. 0-1 count with one out. Two seamer, way late. 87 mile an hour pitch. This one fought off. Up in his kitchen, 0-2 count now. And he drives it right back of the pitcher. Pitcher. Quick as a cat, makes the play on to first. And Tyler Drever will be the last chance to keep the game alive here for the Gauchos. 5-1 to one Pacific with the lead. Looking to take a 2-1 lead in this four-game series. And we will take a look at the Big West standings as soon as this game is over. See where we're at before we head into the final episode of this year number one. And Pacific finally goes to a relief pitcher. Helling will come in to take the place of Soroka. With two outs in the bottom of the ninth. Sinker swung on and missed. 0-2 count. Slow roller, first base. Revelette steps on the bag and Pacific gets the win. 5-1 is your victory for the Tigers. And we will try to even up the series in the fourth and final game. After this 5-1 loss, we only manage four hits. And we do manage to win that fourth and final game by a score of one to nothing. So we split a four game series with Pacific. And we will take a look now at the Big West standings led by UC Irvine at 10 and one in conference. They're 24 and 13 overall. Cal State Fullerton is eight and three. Uh, two games behind Irvine. They're 27 and 12. They're ranked number five, I think, in the country. And we'll take a look at the rankings after this. Cal Poly third, UC Riverside fourth, Northridge fifth. We are sixth, but four and seven in conference, and 15 and 22 overall. So uh, Cal State Fullerton is number 10. I'm sorry, not number five. Cal State Fullerton is number 10 at 27 and 12. Number one is Florida State, Arizona number two, Arizona State number three, Georgia Tech, Southern Miss. South Carolina, Arkansas, LSU, Oklahoma State, and Cal State Fullerton round out the top 10. 11 through 20, you got Texas, Nebraska, Tulane, South Alabama, Louisiana, Lafayette, Rice, Illinois, Tennessee, Wichita State at number 19. Number 20 is Mizzou. 21's UCF. 22, Florida International. 23, Middle Tennessee State. And number 24, UC Irvine. And number 25 is Notre Dame. So next up, we play the UC, uh, UC, the Cal State Fullerton Titans, and they are the number 10 team in the country. That next episode will be the last one of year number one of UC Santa Barbara Gauchos baseball here on Mama's Basement Sports Gaming.